Today I'm going to show you how to use state machines or how to start using them in your rooms just to kind of get you the idea of how they work. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So there are two things you're going to need to start using the state machine. You're going to need the state machine chip and you're going to need an actual state chip. Usually you're going to use more than one, but just to start with we'll do one. Open your palette, go to gadgets, go to other chips, and then you're going to go over to state machine. That's one, and then a state chip. And actually, we're going to use two, so let's just do that. So, first off, with the state machine, normally when you're working with circuits, you're going to hook up these little tabs on the outside. But to start using state machine, you're going to actually hook the chip itself up to this other chip. So just make sure you're pointed directly at the chip with wire. You have to have wire selected. Uh, and then just wire it to there, and you'll see this little green thing pop up. And that's like your, your start of the state machine. So now this is lit up. It was kind of darkened out before like this. But now it's lit up. And if we look, I'm still in wire. If we look over here at these, we have value 1, value 2, and value 3. These are the main things you use the state machine for. Basically, these values that are output right here are set up by this chip. So if I hit configure here, and we pull up the menu, we've got value 1 wire again value one which is this one and if I change it there we go one two three value two you can see it's changing with what I put in here Let's make this like a six or something seven there we go so this controls what values come out of here okay so now we're gonna add in this second state and you go in your maker pen and hit wire again and again you're gonna wire the chip to the chip so just select that one wire it there again you see this green line but now it has this arrow in it we'll talk about this arrow later but it has connected by this green line okay and you can see now this is lit up and this is not lit up if we check the values over here they've now changed back to zero which is what these are set for so because it's activated it shows the values we set here if i change this to let's see five three and Four, sure now if we check it's changed to five three and four and to go one step further let's make sure you're in wire again and we're gonna wire this chip back into this chip and now you can see kind of what it's really for it's for doing like cycles like this we have these little arrows on the on the connecting lines they show you what direction the the signal is flowing I guess you could say and you can see it's rapidly switching between both of them. Let's say that we wanted to slow that down, right? Because you don't want to have something switching between states that quickly. You're going to configure the state chips. And you're going to change min time in state. So it goes by, I guess, milliseconds. I'm not sure if that's what that is. But it goes by decimals. If you hit input, you can just do one second. All right, so that's one full second. Now, it stays in state one for one second. And then it switches immediately. It switches back. So let's slow this one down to one second. We configure it and then switch this to one. And there we go. Now it is one second for both of them. Okay, so now that we've made this little device or whatever you call this, uh, let's show an example with a stage light. So let's open a palette. It is in props, dynamic, and it is the last page, yes. So here we have a stage light. And if you don't know how to use a stage light, I'll be putting a video up soon after this one that will explain how to use it, just in case you need it. So we are gonna wire the on-off to the top pin here, the red pin. And you can see it's it's staying on because right now both of these are sending out a, a yes signal, essentially, uh, anything greater than zero for value one. So what we're gonna do is change this one so that it's the off state so that it's basically zero right or it is zero not basically zero and then change this to the on state we'll just make it one so now we have a light that essentially stays on for one second turns off for one second stays on for one second turns off pretty self-explanatory there all right so now we're going to add in a third state here to change the color of the light get actually you know what? we can just clone let's clone this one because it already has the right minimum time state or whatever you want to call it <laughs> so I don't have to reset that and if you want to remove these all you have to do is go backwards so I clicked on that one went backwards it removed that one and we're gonna hook up the second state to the third state and then hook the third state back up to the first state 
and there we go it's going to switch between so now we have an on or i'm sorry uh, an off an on and an on okay it does that but we want to change the color so let's hook up this one here to value two okay and then we're going to configure the second value on this to it was already three let's change it to like six and then we'll leave that one as three so now it should turn off turn on as a different color and then turn on to the same color there you go so you, you see it changes the state by changing the other value on that so another note about these little arrows here if i get a button out let's see get a button okay if we hook the button up or, or some other thing that will send out a signal to this little arrow right here it will stop the signal at that spot so now it is off it is stuck off until I hit the button once I hit the button it'll turn on on and then it'll stay off because I still have this hooked up here so that's how you use those little arrows alright so we still have our machine or whatever with with three states working at one second at a time right let me show you what the other pins do, or at least explain what they do, so you have an idea of how to use them. Um, we have the light blue pin here. Now, this is the time in whatever states it, it's in. So, we, if it's in state one, it'll basically it's like a, a clock or a timer for each state that it's in. Um, let's see. This one here is on change. So, every single time it changes state, that's when this is going to send a signal. Every single time it changes state. This is the on-off signal basically for the chip. However, it seems as though when you when you spawn it in, as long as you don't touch this, it'll automatically be on. Like once you hook up a state uh, chip to it, it seems like it's just automatically on. I don't know if that's because maybe the game hasn't started. Like in here, I haven't started a game. I don't know if that changes if you start a game or not. Um, but the last thing here is the reset pin. So if you set anything in there, it'll essentially just reset the entire chip. The last thing I wanted to show you guys was all of these pins on the side here because you can use them. Basically, the signal goes in and out of these while it's in the state or while it's entering or exiting. For instance, let's see, on enter. So that's when it enters the state. At that moment, it'll send out a signal. And then we have in state. So while it is currently in that state, that's that will give you a signal. Okay, and then the last one here is exit. So on exit, whenever it leaves the state, that's when it sends the signal. And I have these lights hooked up here. Hopefully that'll kind of help illustrate a little bit more, like which one is lit up and as they're lighting up. Although that one, when you when you see it, it's kind of shining directly at you. But you, you know, you get it. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for joining me for another Rec Room tutorial. If this was helpful for you, make sure to like and subscribe. All that good stuff. We'll see you in the next one. I'll also link in the description a playlist of other tutorials I've done. Have a good day, everybody. RCL Man, out.